we hear so much talk about mindfulness and being in the present moment and living in the present moment. And I had a client the other day was reading in one of my books about the, cow, the power of mindfulness and, and how when we're mindful, we're slowing life down and decreasing stress and decreasing anxiety and decreasing depression and dealing with depression and dealing with anxiety. This is called mindfulness. Enjoying the game, enjoying the dinner, enjoying the coffee, enjoying the tea, that is mindfulness. But it is incredibly difficult to achieve, isn't it? I mean, to be that mindful in a world that's pulling us in 5,000 different directions is incredibly challenging. And yet, who is probably the first one that brought about this concept of mindfulness being the key to bliss and happiness and inner peace? Buddha. And then everyone since then and the whole lineage of Buddhist teachers have been doing the same thing. Thich Nhat Hanh, oh my gosh, a favorite. Uh, Lama Surya Das, a favorite. Dalai Lama, a favorite, right? They've been teaching this mindfulness stuff forever. Uh, Eckhart Tolle, you know, the, the power of now, that's all about being mindful. But I wanted just to give some examples because I struggle with this too. You know, my mind is all over the place, thousands of different uh, challenges going on at the same time, new projects coming, and we have a brand new book that was just released yesterday. Uh, it, it will have copies of it very, very soon. But mindfulness looks very different than the way most of us live. And so let me just give you a, an example. So in the morning, mindfulness would be no electronics at all for 30 to 60 minutes. We wake up, we look outside, maybe we go sit outside if our temperature is okay, uh, but we slowly bring ourselves into the world. We may begin by doing some deep breathing or some meditation, but that's being mindful. You know, we wake up, as a matter of fact, in one of Thich Nhat Hanh's books, he talks about when you wake up, immediately have a smile, like instantaneously, just smile. But And these are ways to be mindful. So we wake up and we smile right away and we slow life down. We give ourselves enough time in the morning to be slow, to be controlled, not to be rushed, running out of the house. So that would be a mindful morning, right? What about breakfast? Well, if you're driving to work eating breakfast, there's a good chance you're not being mindful of either 100%, right? You can't be mindful of two things 100%. So we would say that that probably wouldn't be a good option. Even though millions of us do it every day, eating while you're driving is not being mindful. So we'd want to stop, pull over, take a bite, taste the food, you know, we say two 15 times, right? Like in order to really become mindful. When you're drinking coffee, do you taste the coffee? Or do you just go, oh my God, that was fast, you know? Do you drink the tea? When you drink the tea, do you taste the tea? When you're watching TV, are you purely watching TV? Or are you also looking on your phone or talking to someone in the other room or eating? See, these are all things that take us out of mindfulness. Now, what happened, what I've seen in my life, and I still have a long way to go, that when I become more mindful and I feel stressed, I don't run away from the stress anymore. You know, I go, ah, I'm feeling anxious. Hmm, what's causing that? Oh, that's right, I have that project due that I'm running behind on. Okay, now I know what my emotion is, I know what's caused it, then I have to take that action step of going and doing the work, but first, I'm gonna be mindful and I'm gonna relax my brain with three or four or 10 deep breaths. See, this is all mindful living. What about when you're kissing your partner? You know, are you mindful? You know, do you feel their lips, their tongue? Do you feel the sensuality of the kiss? Well, that would be being mindful, right? When, and, and this is gonna sound crazy, but when you orgasm, you're making love with your partner, you know? Are you mindful of their orgasm? In other words, when, when they have that opportunity, you know, are you in the present moment joyful for them? And then when it's your turn, if you don't do it simultaneously, you know, are you really in that moment and feeling that incredible sensation? So these are just some examples of being mindful, you know, driving and paying attention to what's going on around you. When you're on the beach, you know, are you really looking at the water, the sand, the sun and the sunset and the sunrise? Are you present in the moment? This can decrease stress dramatically. If you need help, go to talkdavid.com. We've been doing this for 43 years, helping people to slow their life down. It's not as easy as you think. The subconscious mind, we feed it patterns of doing multiple things at the same time. Multitasking is the rage, right? And it's the rage for a lack of inner peace, a rage. It, it, it's all the rage that brings about irritability and impatience and incomplete tasks and not being mindful. Let's slow it down. Also at the website are four free books you can get for free, thousands of videos right there on the website, talkdavid.com, and reach out to me. Let's be more mindful. When someone is talking, let's listen without preparing our answer. That's being mindful.
Everything's at talkdavid.com. Don't forget to subscribe at our YouTube channel. And then, of course, Buzzsprouts. Go to buzzsprout.com. Look for David Essel Live and subscribe to our channel there, okay? I'm David. Have a great day.